Okay, guys, so it's my last day in Chiang Mai. It's been a great five months, but it's time to leave, and all my bags are packed. Let me show you what I got and why I have four bags. So you're probably thinking right now, Johnny, you're insane. How do you have four pieces of luggage? And it's because I am. I'm a bit of a pack rack, and I buy too much crap. I'm actually leaving some things behind, mostly my alcohol collection. This was for gin and tonics. <laughs> this is like a kind of whiskey. I actually have this huge thing of honey and this really nice tequila from Mexico that Joanne brought me. But I'm not drinking anymore, so I'm not bringing it, I'm leaving it behind. If anyone wants to come grab it. <laughs> but let me explain what's in these bags before you out me too much. <laughs> so starting with this first bag, this is my North Face bag that I've been traveling with probably for about two years now. It is the best rolling duffel. It is a great kind of in between like a, like a normal rolling suitcase, like a check-in bag versus a backpack or duffel because obviously it's on rollers, uh, but it's super waterproof. It's super strong. Like you can roll it on like cobblestone and it won't break. It has lots of grab handles. So you can put it on your back and you can bring it up and down stairs. So not comfortable like a backpack, but not like a rolling suitcase where you like literally just cannot carry it up four flights of stairs if you're staying in a place that doesn't have an elevator. You'll notice that sometimes I'm staying at nice Airbnbs like this one, like a super luxury condo with an elevator, which happens to be broken today somehow. The transformer blew out. Uh, or I'm staying at a hostel, or sometimes I'm staying in these like old buildings in Europe that don't even have a... Um, don't have an elevator at all so it's been the perfect bag it's you know adventurous uh you can get around with it and i made a video about it probably a year ago where I'm, i talked about why this is the perfect travel luggage but to sum it up really it was because it was a good blend of being a roller luggage but being nice enough where if i stayed at a nice hotel i didn't feel like a dirty backpacker Sorry to all the dirty backpackers out there. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's a different lifestyle. Like, have you ever tried to like walk into like a four or five star hotel with your backpack on? It just like, it just feels so awkward. And sometimes it's kind of just nice. I'm not moving around as much. So that's been a big, great bag, but I am leaving that behind. That bag is full of things like board games, my Super Nintendo, like books, um, some extra clothing, some jackets and an extra pair of shoes that I am leaving in Chiang Mai with my buddy Shane. Thank you, Shane, Chiang Mai ambassador, you can check him out. And I'm very fortunate that Chiang Mai is kind of my home base, I'm back here every year, so I leave kind of some creature comforts back there. Uh, let me show you the other bags. So I have no idea how much this bag weighs. Let me actually lift it up right now. Oh my God, it is really heavy. <sighs> I wanna say this thing weighs 25 kilos or something, but, uh, if you guys have never seen a Super Nintendo Classic, these things are really fun. They're pretty small. They connect by HDMI and, and uh, USB, and they come with a ton of games pre-installed. So it's an uh, easy thing to travel with, but unfortunately, I'm just going to keep it here, along with some other board games, books, and things like that. So this bag is actually what I used to backpack around um, Ireland and some Spain. It's not huge. I think it's... 45 liters or something um, but this I'm actually gonna be it's full with stuff I'm giving away <laughs> so I'm gonna give that to Shane as well he's gonna keep the things he wants like some of the snacks maybe some of the clothes uh, either donate the rest and throw it away so these two bags are leaving which means I'm gonna be traveling with these two bags so this is my new Eagle Creek bag it's 60 liters but because it's soft it can, as long as it's not completely full, you can kind of squeeze it into carrying on sizes. My original plan was to be able to fit both the small one and the big one together into one, which is why I've used my PackSafe bag, which is in here. I have this standard backpack, which doesn't have a hard back. So it actually theoretically becomes pretty light and small. I can fit in here. All right, but this is the issue, guys. Still have too much stuff. I think, you know, just life, because I'm not traveling for two weeks or one month or even two or three months. I think if I was, it'd be pretty easy to be carry-on only. And I know people 
that travel six months at a time or you know or longer with carry on only but it is not easy it, it was kind of really hard to figure out like what do i want to actually bring with me and carry with me uh, i'm going to be doing a full video on exactly what's in that carry on bag uh, once i kind of settle into the, to my next place and had some more experience but i had to leave a lot of my clothes i had to leave uh, some of my podcasting gear actually so I'm gonna be traveling with two USB mics a big full-size one and a small one instead of bringing the whole setup which was hard because I really wanted to bring the whole setup I couldn't do it um, so we'll see how it goes and a lot of the stuff in there like my clothes and things like that I'm prepared to throw it away at the airport if they won't let me check it in or I mean they won't let me carry it on in Asia it's not as big of a deal Air Asia doesn't at currently check how heavy your bag is and they let you bring in a backpack or you know a carry-on luggage and a personal item which is that small backpack so in asia air asia uh, as much as sometimes they're annoying uh, they are really cool with luggage but when i get to europe some airlines like maybe ryanair definitely Wizz air some of the other low-cost carriers uh, they have a really strict policy on what you can carry on and some of them only do one bag which is why i wanted to be able to combine it into one bag if possible so i may have to be leaving things with me or at the airport as i'm traveling but this is exciting there's so many benefits to being carry on only it just makes your life so much easier uh, it frees up stress of you know caring about your stuff uh, it just allows you to travel and kind of just like allows you to enjoy life a bit more um, so I'm gonna be talking about that a lot more in the next video. It's probably gonna come out in a few weeks after I've traveled a little bit with it and I kind of figure out what's kind of good and bad. Uh, there's also some snacks in there, so you know some consumables. Hopefully that'll be all, all gone within a week or two. But it's gonna be a big trip. Uh, I'm gonna be going to Kuala Lumpur for 10 days starting tomorrow. Then I'm gonna be in Sri Lanka for three weeks. Then going on the Nomad Cruise for seven days. So we'll see, say subscribe for more, bye guys. All right, so I'm gonna be traveling with this luggage, starting in Thailand to Malaysia, stopping in Sri Lanka for a few weeks and then fly across the Middle East and across Africa to Gran Canary, which is technically part of Spain. It's gonna go through Morocco, I'm gonna go to Portugal, to Eastern Europe and fly all the way. So if you wanna know more, Check out my blog, johnnyfd.com. I wrote a very detailed article on my 2019 travel plans. That actually describes exactly why I'm going to each place and what I'm gonna be doing there because there's tons of digital nomad conferences and meetups that I plan on attending and it'd be great to meet up. So read the post, johnnyfd.com.